14 here. It's been a while. It's been a long time. Um, but, um, I'm in finals week in school, so that means just in a few more days, uh, it's gonna be all be over. I'm gonna have enough time to maybe record some stuff. Um, I'm going to do a Christmas unboxing this year. I didn't do it last year. I, I'm very sorry about that. But, um, if you guys want that, um, then I will give it to you. But, I, I really am going to do it either way because I want to, you know, upload something to the channel. We haven't uploaded in over, I don't know how long it's been, but, um, I'm glad to say that we have, um, that Target Toyota car, that video has reached points I never dreamed of hitting. Um, last time I checked, it's like the most, I think it's the most popular video on the channel right now, and I am very appreciative for you guys. Thank you for the support. Um, I really wanted to do a video just to thank you all for at least tuning in to watch the video. I don't care how many times you've watched it, or I don't care if it's somebody different that isn't subscribed. I just appreciate the support. Um, you guys are awesome. I, I couldn't say much else to show my appreciation. Other than try to upload videos, but I, which I haven't been able to do. But I'm trying to get to it now. Now that um, we're going to go on Christmas break, I might be able to upload some videos soon. Um, my computer is malfunctioning. It continues to crash every time I try to start it up, so that's going to be a problem. I might not be able to upload any gameplays on the computer soon, but I'll be able to do diecast videos, but I don't know how long that's going to last. Um... I know it's already in the off season in NASCAR, but I just wanted to do a video on this because it's important to me, I guess, and I'm pretty sure it's important to everybody else in the NASCAR community. I wanted to do uh lit just like what I did for Jeff Gordon, except I didn't do it late as hell. I'm going to do a Tony Stewart diecast video honoring Tony Stewart, and honestly, I have so many Tony Stewart diecasts, I just grabbed, like, a bunch of things that I have for Tony Stewart, I might grab more later after I think I pause the video, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a bunch of diecasts, I'm just gonna review it, and if it turns out to be a good video, get a good amount of views, get a good amount of likes, and maybe if some guys comment about wanting to see more, I might show, uh, the major, like, more of my collection, but the thing is, I don't want the video to go on and on and on. Like, I think maybe 20 minutes is as long as I'll go. Because I don't want nobody sitting there for like an hour looking at my collection. So, we're just going to get these diecasts in. And if you guys enjoy it, please comment that you want to see another part. So, yeah, let's get into it. So, what I want to do is, I want to um, uh, uh, get maybe the smallest out first. Um... So, I only have, I think I have another one of these die casts, I just can't find it right now. Um, this is Tony Stewart's number 20, 2006, Home Depot Chevy. I do not remember what scale this is, but it's pretty small. Uh, and the lighting's terrible. Alright, so we got Home Depot on the hood. Monte Carlo, Home Depot, oh my god, autofocus is terrible right now, Home Depot, Home Depot, Home Depot, and yeah, Home Depot, we also got contingency sponsors, but I really can't read that, this diecast is so small, um, so, all right, we're on. Th we're gonna go on to the next diecast. Um, this is the smallest scale I think they make. So if anybody knows, like comment down below so I don't mistake and this for another scale again. All right, on the next diecast. All right, so um, I found a better thing to help lighting. Hope this works. This is Tony Stewart's 2013 Bass Pro Shop Mobile One car. <laughs> Yeah, as you can see, it's, a, it's just like a, it's like a stand, not a stand, it's more like a desk thing that you'd use to, if you go to bed, to like, light up, like if you're at a workspace and you want to go to bed, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, but it has this little LED light, so hopefully it'll help brightness. 
So yeah, so uh, Bass Pro Shops, Chevrolet SS, Sword House Racing. Here on the side it says Mobile One. Okay, my God. Mo Mobile One, Bass Pro Shops, Mer Arctic C Cat, Mercury, Mac Tools, Tracker Boats. Then there it says Rich Coca Cola, Mobile One, Haas, Automo Mo Haas Automation, I think, and Quicken Loans. The back it says Tracker B Bass Pro Shops, Bass Pro Shops, Tracker Boats. Mobile one, and that is a problem. Um, I don't know why they did this, but I th I don't think it's supposed to go that way. Um, yeah, BassPro.com, and pretty much the same thing over here. I don't know why, but like 2013, 2014, they messed up on the decals. I mean, like look at this side on the 14, right? And look at this side on the 14. I think one of these things are not like the other. But yeah, all right. And that was before they started putting the uh, the manufacturer logos on the uh, um, on the windshield. So yeah, there's Tony Stewart's 2013 Bass Pro Shop car. Well, this is, I'm just gonna roll right into the next one. Um, this is Tony Stewart's 2014 Rush Truck Center's Mobile One Chevy. These are all open, that's why um, I'm going to these ones next. So, Chevy SS, Rush Truck Centers. I actually did like this car a lot when he drove it in 2014. Too bad he could have he won it. He really could have won it if he just uh, drove it in the way he should have instead of trying to fight Kurt Busch for the lead. Oh, sorry, I'm dropping it. Mobile One, Best Pro Shops, Arctic Cat Mercury, Rush Truck Centers, uh, Mac Tools, Hot Automation, Mobile One, of course, on the side. And very small print, RushTruckCenters.com. Mobile One, Rush Truck Centers. Mobile One, Rush Truck Centers, Mac Tools, Hot Automation, and everything else on the side. Um, this, this die cast seems pretty cool. Like, pretty sure, like, the size, the, name, the numbers on the sides are the same. Except for the freaking fact that the numbers on the sides, like, look like the same size as the numbers on the, f on the roof of the car. Which should not be like that. I think. Yeah, they look about the same. But whatever, it doesn't matter. Alright. Moving right on to the next one. Uh, Tony Stewart's... I think, yeah, this is also 2014. His 2014 Mobile One track, um, Tracker Boats Bass Pro Shops Chevy. So Chevrolet SS, Mobile One. This coat was good as one of the cars I liked. Tracker Boats, Bass Pro Shops, Rush Truck Centers, Mac Tools, House Automation. Mobile One, Tracker Boats, Mobile One. Mobile One, Tracker Boats, Umbrush Truck Centers, Mobile One. Wait a minute. Oh, there's no sponsor there. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. Unless you wanted me to try to attempt to read the contingency sponsors. No, nah, we're good with that. We already know what's already on there. Um, if you guys didn't see on Instagram, when I went to uh, this... It, the place is called Jiffy Lube, and mobile, they were doing a promotion for Tony Stewart Mobile One. That's when you saw they got me starting the car on Instagram. So you can go check out that video there. And they were also handing out these, um, I want to call them posters, but they're not, like, these, um, flyers, I guess you could say. Um, and yeah, this is, this is it. So it says Mobile One Racing, of course. Down here it says Tony Stewart. I need to focus it. Three-time champion. And on the back, I really like this. I really like it. Iron Normal is a three-time Sprint Cup champion. Always, always a racer, forever champion. Smoke. There's his um accounts. And that's what that's. I really like this the back more than the front because it's pretty cool. I, I pretty I like it the most. I really, yeah, I really like it. Alright, so we're going to move on to the next one. Um, I think we might move on to the normal diecast now. Actually, no. Let's just move on to the normal diecast late. I don't know. Eesh. We'll just actually go to this one. I'm not going to unbox... If, guys, okay, if, um, unless I've already opened them before, then I will unbox it. But if they're like in packaging that 
uh, that if you open once, you're not going to put it back in the box, and yeah. So like this, this is Tony Stewart's, um, when did he win? I forgot the year he won that all the All-Star Race. I think it was, alright, he, alright, this is Tony Stewart's, I think it's, uh, please, oh my god, I don't know why I don't know this. This is Tony Stewart's 2010, I want to say, um, Office Depot, Old Spice, she uh, Chevy Impala, with that weird spoiler. So, this is the, um, this is the scale right above, um, right below, I think, the 124s. I don't know what scale it is, but yeah, alright, so there's Office Depot on the hood, of course. And there's Office Depot, okay, I need to focus Focus. Alright. Didn't focus. Whatever. Office Depot, Old Spice, Quaker State. Oh my god. I think it's focusing on the packaging. Um, and Tornadoes. Oh, Bosch. It says right there under it. Bosch. Um, Old Spice, Office Depot. Uh, on the rear, of course, it says once again Office Depot with the Chevy. Um,. There it says on the on the um pillar it says Coca Cola Ritz U S Army Burger King and Haas Automation. Yep. All right. Well, that's the next one. And the next one I can't open, but I can show you guys. Um, if you guys followed me on Instagram a long time ago, I posted this. I don't know how long ago it was, but I posted a picture of this diecast, and I thought it was pretty cool. It's Tony Stewart's. A 1999 Rookie of the Year car, and it was made by Hasbro. And they don't make diecast for NASCAR anymore. And it's the same scale as the last one, and uh, here it is. Oh, boy. So, it's in very old packaging. So it says Winter Circle, and that's the um, artist of the picture there. As you can see, that's Tony Stewart when he was young. And here's the car, and it says right there, Tony Stewart, 1999, Rookie of the Year. And on the back, of course, is the Rookie Stripes. They're orange, actually, instead of, you know, yellow, but uh, NASCAR changed. There, I think it says the, um, yeah, it's this, this the, um, the, uh, art, her, the art paint series collection guy. That's his signature, and that's in the NASCAR thing. This is a stand, so, you know, if you want to take it out of the box, it'll stay on the stand. Um, and, yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it. I really like this one a lot. This is actually on my uh, shelf for diecast. All right, well, just give you a good look at it one last time. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right. And now we're going to move on to the next diecast. I think we might move, roll over into 164 skills. But before that, um, I also have <laughs> I also have a hauler. It's Tony Stewart's. I think this is like his, his uh, hauler from 1999 because it's from Hasbro. And the trailer shows a picture of when he was driving a Pontiac. Now, okay, here it is. Me. Okay, so Hasbro, it's four and up. Tony Stewart diecast collector trailer rig. Um, you know, there's his signature. There's him, and um, I did open this, but I did put a very special car in here that I've never seen before. So that's the only reason why I took it out and opened this trailer up. Now, I'll uh, pause the recording real quick to take the video, the, the car out of the, the trailer just to show you guys because I really like it and it wouldn't be a really good video if I didn't show you any good diecast. Alright, so we got the trailer open. Oh yeah, and there's information on the back. Um, Car number 20, Pontiac Manufacturer, Model Grand Prix, Sponsor Home Depot, Owner Joe Gibbs, Segment NASCAR Cup Series, because I couldn't put Winston Hometown, and Birthday. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment we've all been waiting for. Please, um, hold your awe till the reveal. The one, the only, uh, I don't know why I'm trying to hype it when I don't even sound like I'm trying to hype it. Whatever. This is Tony Stewart's, 
um, 2005 Home Depot Chrome Championship 164 scale diecast. Holy crap, it's shiny as hell. Alright, so of course we got... Alright, one second. I need to focus this. Yes, and this is the diecast I put in the hauler. Because I, oh yeah, and they have rubber, t this is diecast has rubber tires, so, um, you know when they put rubber tires on diecast, it's important, it's all hell. So we got Home Depot on the front, of course, we got, um, Home Depot on the sides, and as you can see, the, there's like, t like, little text on the tires, like, in the rubber, um, Safety Clan Champion, ARP, Dwango, something else on the, very bottom of the car, I can't see it. There's this old smoke sign thing. I really don't know how to say it. There's Coca Cola Racing Family logo on the pillar, and I don't know what the other one is. And on the front, on the hood of the hood, on the roof of the car, it says NASCAR Next Hill Cup Series Champion 2005. And there is Home Depot in chrome. Home Depot on the deck lid. And more home people. Yeah, this, this is one diecast I really love the most. That's why I have it in the trailer. So it stays, um, you know, off the shelves. It keeps the dust from getting dusty. And it doesn't f fall. So that's why I have it in the trailer. So, yeah. I don't know if you want to get mad at me about it. But, yeah, that's why I opened the trailer. To keep this baby safe. No way. And we're going to move on. I'm going to pause the recording and move so we can move on to the next diecast. Alright guys, so this is going to be the next diecast. This is Tony Stewart's 2012, I think. I'm pretty, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a, yeah, 2012 Office Depot Mobile One Chevy. Wait, this is my, I don't know, this is either 2012 or 2011. Because, um, like, they changed the style of the car. This is his 2012, okay. Let me make sure that's good. And I have to keep my finger here before it freaking starts rolling. So this is when um Spin Master started making their diecast. They didn't do a pretty bad job other than the fact that the freaking car is huge compared to the other the one sixty four made made by a line L. So yeah, so there's Office Depot on the side, Mobile One, Office Depot, um Rush Rush Truck Centers, DuPont, House Automation, Smack Tools, um Bosch and that other the uh, decal you can't read. Office Depot on the side there they have Coca Cola Ritz U S Army, Quicken Loans and Bass Pro Shop. If you can make that out, I highly doubt you can. I'm moving back into the light. Why am I doing that? Yeah, you can probably see it now. Um, on the on the back of the car we have Office Depot with the Chevy, of course, Mobile One. Um, and the same on the other side. So yeah. So that's just 2012 or 2011. I'm pretty sure it's 2012 diecast. Um, because it says 2011, um, but I, don't, I highly doubt it's actually 2011. Um, now this diecast is actually lying out. I think this was... This was when I actually started collecting diecast. This was my very first diecast. One second, I need to open this. This was one of my first diecasts, um, and I have opened it a bunch of times. The packaging freaking proves it. It looks destroyed. Um, it is chipped, I think, somewhere. Uh, there's a bit, uh, yeah, there's chips on the bumper. But this is when I first started. This was my very first diecast. I'm surprised that the, I'm surprised the diecast is in freaking good condition, let alone... Freaking how much I've played with it. I love this diecast so much. I started collecting diecasts in 2011. My first two diecasts were Tony St Well, this one, of course, and Jeff Gordon's they drive the okay, RP car. So this car is Tony Stewart's 2011. I know that for a fact. Mobile One Office Depot Chevy. And boy, do I love this game on this car. So we got, of course, the mobile one in Chevy Impala. On this side, we got Office Depot, El Monterio, whatever that thing is. Mobile One, House Automation, Mac Tools, Rush Truck Centers, DuPont, other Bosch, and the other one I can't freaking read. There on the pillar, we got 
House Automation, Ritz, U.S. Army, Burger King, Best Pro Shop, Mobile One on there on the con. Mobile One, Chevy, Office Depot, Mobile One, and everything else on the other side. I'm trying to get as much time as done as possible. I don't really don't want these videos being over 20 minutes, but it looks like this one's going to be just by a bit, so. Alright, the next diecast was my first 2014 diecast. Okay, one second. This is my first 20, no, my first... My first Gen 6 car was Tony Stewart's 2013 Best Pro Shop car. I think this was the first and might be the... No, that... This might be the only 2014 car I have. No, it's not. This was the first 2014 car, actually, I have. This is when they started screwing up with diecast. That's when This is when Lionel started screwing up. Because everything is either falling up off the die decals or whatever. Alright. Tony Stewart's Code 3, Mobile 1, Chevy, 2014 version. Too bad it couldn't be a race win. Um, I don't know why that's on the hood, but, like, it looks like that. But, yeah, it looks like that. It looks like an air bubble. Oh, no, it hit the light. It looks like an air bubble. Okay, we got the Chevy logos, of course, on the side of the car, on the front of the car. Mobile 1, Best Pro Shop, Arctic Cat. Uh, Rush Truck Center's Mac Tools, House Automation. As you can see, the, uh... Quarter panel has been chipped, and I haven't played with this car at all. And as you can see, like right here, it's all the, the decals are all bubbly on the sides of the car. Uh, sponsor and offer officer code 3 associates.org right there. The thing quarter panel is once again chipping for some reason, not my fault. Uh, 14 code 3 mobile 1 and everything else on the other side. The 14 logo is a bit crooked. Everything on the side of the car is actually fine. It's all on the left side or on the roof or on the front of the car. So, yeah. Alright, well, there's Tony Stewart's 2014 diecast. Um, this next diecast was definitely a personal favorite of mine. I've waited, I tried so long to get this diecast, and I finally got it one year off of eBay. It is one of three Xfinity diecast I have. It is Tony Stewart's 2011 um, number four Ritz Oreo car that he won with in a photo finish against Clint Boyer in at Daytona. <laughs> so of course, on the front we got the Chevy Impala logo. The Chevy, uh, this is used by the way, so I'm sorry if any of it's shipped. We have the nationwide thing on the top of the car. And of course, the four, we got smoke on the side. Oreo Ritz, Mobile One, Best of Steepo, Kroger, uh, Safety Clan, Coca-Cola there on the side. Um, I'm just going to try to save time, as much time as I can, and keep going. Oreo Ritz, there's an Oreo and a Ritz. More Oreo and Ritzes, I'm getting hungry now. And yep, that's the core. I like it very much. And yeah, this is one of my personal favorites. Alright, moving on. Now, next up we have... Um, There's one more. I th there, there's, there's a lot more. Trust me. Um, where is it? All right, guys. I'll pause the recording. And be right back. All right, we're back. This diecast. This next diecast I bought at when I went to New Hampshire this year. Um, honestly, I wish I didn't buy this one because there was a um another one that I thought. Now that I'm look thinking about it, looked a lot better. But hey, I really did want this one too. So why not? Um, this is Tony Stewart's 2015 Bass Pro Shops Mobile One Darlington Throwback Scheme. So Bass Pro Shops, of course, throwback style on the front of the car. On the side of the car, we got the Mobile One, Arctic Mobile One, Bass, uh, Rush Truck Center, Mac Tools, Haas Automation, Bass Pro Shops, Arctic Cat Mercury, Exalta there on the bottom, Bosch Tools, I'm pretty sure, and something else. Uh, Bass Tracker right there on the thing i those are that's way too shiny i can't even read the things on the side of the car other than coca-cola um bass tracker uh mobile one see that's the correct way bassproshops.com and everything else from the other side of the car the other diecast i saw that i really wanted that i now that i'm thinking about it um was tony search 2014 um mobile one 
Chevy he drove at Sonoma, the one that, like, the all-star kind of scheme, that one was the car I was thinking I should probably have bought, because there was only one of those left and a bunch of these left, so I'm pretty sure that car looked a bit better and probably was going to be a bit better. But anyway, we're going to move on to the next thing. Actually, the next thing is a whole lot of cars, so... Um, I'm going to take, it's going to probably take me a while to get these all out, so bear with me, guys. Alright, guys, we're going to go one by one here. Um, first, we're going to go with, I think, the old, the oldest first. Um, this is Tony Stewart's number 20, uh, I'm pretty sure that's, I don't know what the primary sponsor is on this. Um, the number 20 Nebule Engine Sprint Car. From, it doesn't give me a year, I don't know, but this is Tony Stewart's number 20 sprint car. So on the front we have 20 Nebule engines. On the side there's his name, Tony Stewart, with balls, um, bo boils, boils? Chevy, the Chevy logo stretched out for some reason. PR, PR, PRO I think it says. Oh, this is Monte Carlo on the on the Chevy logo. Palmer, Marines. I really don't know what the rest of them say. Um, on this side of the car, or sprint car, it says T I C on the door. And yeah, that's his sprint car. Next, we have I don't know where next to go is, but I'll just do this one. This is Tony Stewart's, it doesn't give me a year on this. This is Tony Stewart's number 20, um, I really don't know which side to read this off of. Uh, I'll just read this. Uh, no, that's not right. This is Tony Stewart's number 20, uh, dirt car, uh, from K Strader Racing slash Junior Motorsports. And it's sponsors on the hood. Harana's... Metropolis Casino and Hotel. So, of course, in the front, we got Harana's Hotel, Metropolis and Hotel. There we have Smoke, 20, Can Trader Racing on this side. There we have a phone number, if you want to call it, I really don't care. On the back of the car, of course, where we got all the dirt comes out, when, it, when they, you know, going on the track. And right on that side of the car, we got Junior Motorsports and, uh, <laughs> Pedal Cat, Cat, International Raceway, home of the UBO World 30, I think it says. Hey, it's really hard to read this, even though I'm the one behind the camera. So, yep, that's Tony Stewart's dirt car. Dirt drift car. I really, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I'm, like, saying these wrong. I, I'm just going to go to these ones because, like, you know, this is the... Uh, so, this is Tony Stewart's number 22... The uh the Home Depot double duty Indy car that he drove when he did double duty. So we got twenty two on the front of the car, of course. The Home Depot, Goodyear there, double duty right there on the back of the car. P P P B G. And um, that right below the um the cockpit, if you can see right there, it says Tony Stewart. What does that say? Oh, it says, I think it's the IndyCar Series logo, right? Yeah, it's the IndyCar Series logo right above the 22. And really, that's all there is to this car. Other than, like, you know, the style of it. Boom, boom. Next diecast we have is Tony Stewart's number 33. Monaco. Coach. Monaco Coach Corporation 33 truck from the truck series he drove this in I'm looking for the year on the truck it is not giving me one but I remember seeing this on a few replays so here it is Tony Stewart's number 33 Monaco co coach parts the corporate does this say corporation this is corporation dang it I'm dumb I really like the style of this car I don't. I really don't know if I, I'll be able to pronounce all. Oh, Lincoln Walters. Never mind. I can pronounce a, a sponsor. <laughs> there it says Rio. Completely. I don't know. I think that might be a band. I really don't know. I'm sorry. 
There's Monaco. And yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite Tony Stewart diecast. Um, definitely up there on the list. This is like amazing. I've never had it. This is my only truck series diecast, and I'm never gonna give this baby up. This is way too cool. And the last but not least, Tony Stewart. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure this is from the Bush series. Tony Stewart's number eight, the Earnhardt Foundation goodies car. I remember seeing this. Oh wait, there, there's a year, two thousand six. Is it? It says two thousand six. Of course, I got it in one sixty four scale. There's Snap On. There's a bunch of other. Oh my God! Why do they make them so small? This is definitely one of my favorite. This is definitely one of the other favorite cars I have. Goodies right there on the back. Goodies Country there on the side, and of course the famous eight. And just to make sure I'm not wrong, there's the Smoke's name on the side of the car. And this is definitely one of my favorite diecasts. I've never seen Tony run the. I'm pretty sure this is the Bush series because um. Because I've never seen Tony run eight in the Cup series, of course. So. This is definitely the Bush Series 8 car, so yeah. So yeah, this is um, this is definitely one of the gr um, one of the great cars I have with Tony Stewart. And that is all, guys. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a comment uh, to tell me to sh make a next second part to this. I have plenty of diecast left, plenty to show. If you guys want to see those, leave a like, leave a comment. Um. And I really hope you enjoy. We've been going for half an hour, sadly. I really wish I didn't go that long. But, hey, you got to do what you got to do if you want to be successful, right? So, thank you all so much for watching. Blah, blah, blah. Repeat, repeat, repeat. And, yeah, check out the other videos. Thank you once again, guys, for the amazing um, the amazing turnout on that Target um, paint scheme video and yeah thank you guys and i'll see y'all in the next video i think i just stole some famous youtubers outro my bad bye